what's up guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy Nemo coming at you with another video and today I've got another Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild guide for you guys and in this video I'm gonna teach you how to make every single elixir that's in the game so before we get started I wanted to make it really clear that some of the pictures that I used for a couple of the elixirs were my Photoshop so uh, disregard those uh, but the actual recipes themselves are correct uh, and I didn't have pictures for all of the stuff but you know every single recipe for every real elixir is in this video so look no further Further, without further delay guys let's jump into it so we're gonna start off this video with the spicy elixir uh, it'll come very useful at the beginning of the game and it takes a swizzle wing butterfly and a book goblin fang now the alternative method that I just looked up is apparently you can use warm darner and monster parts in this whole elixir gives you cold resistance so if you're going up in a mountain then it's very useful now moving right along to the energizing elixir it takes a book goblin horn and a restless cricket and it restores the full amount of stamina also before I go any further I want to make it really clear that you cook all this stuff in the pots next to a fire so you'll see a fire and there should be a pot on top of it and you just put all this stuff in your inventory you click hold and then you just select a over the campfire and it'll drop all the ingredients in and you'll make your elixir that way now the next elixir is going to be the hasty elixir and the first part of it is a high tail lizard and monster parts and that grants movement speed and the next one uh, is with high tail lizard and bokoblin horn and that's a low level haste and it grants you a 210 duration and then we got the third and last one which is the hasty elixir uh, it's got a hot Hot footed frog and monster parts and that does a low level haste and the duration is 410 now moving right along to the sneaky elixirs this one has two different versions the first one is going to be with a keys eyeball and a sunset firefly and that gives increased stealth uh and obvi obviously it's called sneaky elixir and the second part is uh with a sneaky river snail sunset firefly and an octo rock eyeball and that obviously does a low level sneak for five minutes and 50 seconds so the next one has two versions as well. It's the Electro Elixir, and that is with a Thunderwing Butterfly, Electric Darner, and a Yellow Lizzle Fulth Tail, and that does mid-level electric resistance for eight minutes and 10 seconds duration. Now the next recipe for the Electro Elixir, which is version two, and that takes a Thunderwing Butterfly and a Yellow Lizzle Fulth Tail, and that grants you low level electric resistance for five minutes and 40 seconds. Now moving to the next Elixir, we've got the Chili Elixir, which takes a gold darner and a red lizzle foss tail and that grants you low level heat resistance for five minutes and 40 seconds once again i want to preface that the uh, colors of these elixirs do not represent the actual stuff that was just my photoshop work and moving right along to the mighty elixir that takes a bladed rhino beetle in a moblin horn and that grants you low level attack boost for two minutes and last but not least we have the one and only fairy tonic which takes one fairy two book goblin horns and two book goblin fangs and that is essentially just a recovery elixir but yeah guys that pretty much wraps it up with every single elixir in the game and how to make them if this video did help you out let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if this video did help i'm going to be doing a lot more guides of zelda breath of the wild so be sure to stay tuned to the channel and subscribe like i said and thanks again for watching guys i hope this video did help you out and until next time this has been your boy nemo and i'm out peace uh -huh.